So here's the step one that we were talking about in our little four step uh, process for hazmat containers. I've got highway and rail containers drawn up here, just a real quick profile view so that you can quickly roll up on scene, look for these profiles, and try to figure out what type of PPE you need to wear. So highway side is pretty easy. We're doing all these from the ends. So we have fuel tankers, chemical tankers, and high pressure tankers down here on the bottom. So fuel tankers are always going to have what I call their top hat rollover protection up top. You can't see the manways, they're up underneath this uh, rollover protection that's in here. You see these every time you stop at a gas station or you're rolling down the highway and you see a Loves tanker or a Flying J tanker uh, cruising along. Uh, look for this rollover protection that tells you that it's a petroleum product, you need to wear bunker gear. Uh, if you have a round shape with what I call a tombstone on the top to protect the manway, uh, that could be any chemical under the sun. It could be an oxidizer, it could be crude oil, and anything in between. Uh, so what you look for are either ribs around the outside along with that tombstone or it'll have a horseshoe shaped if, if it's uh, insulated because all they do is throw a little insulation over the top and stretch some aluminum over the top of it. So these are your two types of liquid transports on the highway. When we lose the manway up top, we step down into high pressure containers. So this is a cryo container and this is just a, a, a liquefied gas container here. So notice the absence of a manway, that equals a liquefied gas. Um, these are what you would think of as a propane tanker most of the time. So we have no manway, you'll have a blind flange here at the back so we can get in and inspect it every once in a while. Uh, they're cigar shaped overall, remember more round, more pressure. Um, and they'll be reflective or white in the top two-thirds. So very easy to identify, just a regular liquefied gas container. They, these don't have anything to keep them liquid, it's just pressure that keeps them down in a liquid form. A cryo container, on the other hand, is going to have a bulbous shape to it because it's basically one of these inside a vac truck. So it's, it's vacuum insulated to keep everything really, really cold. So it's going to have that bulbous shape because of the vacuum surrounding the outside. You're going to have a doghouse at the rear where all the valves are at. And then underneath or to the sides a little bit, you'll have evaporator coils. Uh, these work just like the air conditioning system in your car, where you're taking the liquid, turn it into a gas that cools the entire container and keeps everything a liquid inside. So instead of pressure on these, we're using temperature to keep all this a liquid. But again, no manway, no manway, those are high pressure, so they can blevy. And that's what you look out for. So you keep your distance, look through binoculars, look for the presence of a manway. If it has a manway, you can get a little closer and see a placard. On the rail side, it's a little more complicated, but we need to look at those from the side. So with a liquid container, you're going to have a protective housing for the valves, a protective housing for the manway, and then you might have some other uh, appurtenances over here on the other side. But again, it's that presence of a manway we're looking for to tell if it's a liquid or a gas. So this is your general profile from the side for a liquid container, or what they call a non-pressure container, even though there is pressure on it. Um, and then this would be a pressure container here. We only have one protective housing up top. That's where the valves and all the transfers and everything take place. No manway up top, therefore it is a pressure container. So, liquid, gas, liquid, liquid, gas, gas. And further narrowing down the liquid on the highway, you look for that top hat rollover protection for petroleum products, and then the tombstone for pretty much everything else under the sun. So, have a great day.